If you look at the map of China, you need to zoom in a lot to find where I am, Macau. It is so small, even smaller than Pudong Airport in Shanghai, but it's special. These buildings used to host well-off Portuguese families. They were born and raised here in Macau, but their ancestors came centuries earlier. The Portuguese arrived with their ships in the 16th century and colonized this tiny place 300 years later. After over 400 years, traces of the Portuguese influence can be seen almost everywhere, from buildings to food, from religious beliefs to global vision. But something stubbornly Chinese remain, from the tongue they speak, the way they think, and the values they treasure. Macau has kept its root in the Chinese motherland. Nowadays, Hong Kong is in the headlines because of the unrest. But few people talk about Macau. However, a lot of things are going right here. Like what? We can point to a lot of differences. Geographical, demographical, historical, economic and cultural. But the most important difference is probably the colonizer. Macau was settled much earlier than Hong Kong. But the Portuguese left a very different footprint. Portugal was a fading colonial empire with a handful of dwindling outposts. The Portuguese government didn't bother developing Macau, so the people of Macau kept a big chunk of their culture and a strong bond with the motherland, China. For example, the Portuguese were forward-leaning in their integration of mainland elements into Macau's governance ahead of the handover in 1999. To be exact, 20 years ahead. Months before the handover, Chinese authorities intervened and stopped the Yan fighting, thus restoring stability and winning hearts in Macau. All things considered, the tacit agreement between Portugal and China resulted in much lighter baggage from colonial rule compared to Hong Kong following the British handover. And coincidentally, Macau's younger generation has more of an international perspective. They are not boxed in by the Portuguese, British, or Americans. They look at the world in totality.